Hello everybody. In word embedding technique, so far we learned about back of words, df, idf, and word to way. Next we're gonna learn or understand about clove. Like the way this is written, you can clearly understand its combination of two words. So yes, that's right. Globe is nothing but combination of two words, which is global and vector. What does it mean? right so it definition simply says let's have a look at its definition first okay it's nothing but it just helps in deriving the semantic relationship between words using word to word co-occurrence matrix right so possibly you found many new words over here first of all let's have a look at this what does this mean word to word co-occurrence this means this means nothing but occurrences of two words together right so global global vector does nothing it creates a matrix where it gives you the count that how many times two words are occurring together all right lot of lecture let's try to understand this with the help of an example let's say here we have been given two sentences i love learn area i love data science so what it does is what how globe creates the co-occurrence matrix it will simply take all the words in the supply data make it unique and create a unique list of words and let's put that as column heading and as the row heading and then you come up with this kind of grid okay before we proceed further let's understand what is window window is nothing to to do the count of occurrences globe required a window parameter how does it helps for example let's say here we want to check how many times i appears with i or let's say we want to check how many times love appears with i okay this word love how many times it appears with i so given the window size one we can say that love appears with i twice all right now if because this in the in the second sentence also love is appearing with i and in the first sentence also love is appearing with i now given the keeping the window same which is window equals to one if you try to figure out how many times learn area appears with the word i so the answer will be zero same goes with same way if you try to figure out how many times the word data science appears with i the answer will be zero but if you increase the window size to two instead of one right so what will happen is it will see two words backward and two words forward to find its neighbor so when it goes backward it will find that data science appears with i once right so the answer will be one so i just hope that it was clear to you now considering this let's try to fill this grid so let's first see how many times i appears with the word i so because the window size is one here the window size which we have taken is one so it gives the answer zero because in both of the sentences you see neither of the time i is coming with i which makes sense right let's have a look at the other next word which is love how many times love appears with the word i so it is happening twice once over here and then once in the second sentence so so that's why here we put the value two next let's have a look at learn area how many times learn area appears with the word love so learn area appears with the word love just once so that's why we have the word sorry count one over here in the same fashion you can fill the whole grid okay so over here you also see it's going to have the same thing so what you see is this is equivalent to this similarly this is equivalent to this this is equivalent to this so here we also say that x equals to x t x is nothing but the whole grid and x t is transpose so normal x this x is is always equals to the 
transpose of this okay this is nothing just simple or uh, technique of saying the things right so i just hope that it was clear to you next moving forward let's have uh, let's take this grid and uh, in this grid if you say if you take all these columns and indicate them using the letter i and take all the row headings and let's indicate them with j and the whole matrix is indicated using x so the equation you come up with x i j this is nothing but the simply means how many times the word i occurred with the word j right in this co-occurrence matrix so given an uh, for an example let's say you want to check how many times the word data science comes with the word love the answer is one in the same way if you want to check how how many times learn area comes with the word comes with the word uh, let's say data science right so the answer is zero because here it it is intersecting to each other right so this is how you can put the equation if you want to ask for any i with any j what else sometimes you also given this kind of matrix and these two sentences right you you can also find the probability of i j what does that mean this is nothing means we are simply trying to say what is the probability of word i is occurring with the word j so this is different from the count so how would you find this probability it is nothing but simply using this formula here you are taking the count which we just discussed in the previous slide and here here you are taking the count of occurrences of word i happening with the word j and here you are taking the total count of i in the supplied data for example if you see over here we want to figure out what is the probability of word i appearing with the word love then it the equation will be let's take the count how many times i comes with love so we, in the previous one or, or let's just see here we have sorry here we have i please bear with me let me just erase these two and then again let me just try to so here we have i and here we have word love which is j and this is i so it is appearing twice so the answer for, for this the value is two next comes how many times this word i which is nothing but i itself right don't get confused with this small i and this capital i this capital i is the actual word and this i is nothing but indication of the column headings okay so how many times this i is appearing in the whole document right so it is appearing twice in the whole document so here the answer will be two right and then what is the final answer final answer is one means there is 100% probability that the I would appear with the word love, right? I just hope that it was simple and clear to understand. Just in case of any doubt, put that into the comment section. I would highly encourage that uh, you practice it more. Let's say you supply any data. Let's say you supply the entire, um, you know, uh, entire document and you find, uh, you, you try to figure out what is the probability of x coming with y let's say you supplied the whole ramayan into this data okay and now you try to figure out what is the probability that the word ram occurs with the word sita so let's see what is the probability that comes out of it so in my opinion it will be 100 percent right same same fashion in the same fashion you can try it with multiple examples all right i just hope that it was clear to understand, just in case of any doubt, put that into the comment section. I'll be more than happy to reply that.